Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create Instagram carousel posts with Canva. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, you might be wondering, how do you create an Instagram carousel post here with Canva? Because we all know that Canva is a great way for you to save time on creating those designs. So in this case, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up your browser here you want to go to canva.com and basically access your account now in this case for us to get started what we need to do here is we need to use the search functionality that canva has to offer because if you're not aware yet canva has a lot of templates that you could use maybe free maybe uh the paid ones but in this case if you do have the canva pro plan here it's just a great way for you to get those really cool designs within canva you could basically leverage more out of it but if you're using this the free trial or the free plan here for canva it's still pretty good here so in this case, let's go ahead and go to the search bar here and you want to type in the following, which is going to be carousel. So in this case, uh, once you've typed in carousel here, you should be able to do your search. Let's just press on enter here. And uh, from here, what we need to do is we need to start searching. Now, in this case, templates is a great way for you to save on time, on time. So especially if you're pretty busy, if you're still managing your business, well, using templates is something really handy. Now, the thing here is you want to use plans that you could use. So again, if you're not, or if you don't have the Canva Pro plan here, you need to avoid using the Pro plans here. Again, these are paid plans. So if you're going to use them, you'll be wasting time, especially you won't be able to use them because again, these are paid um, content. But in this case, let's go ahead and search for a carousel or design that may, maybe we want to use. So for example, maybe I want to use one of the options here. So maybe I want to use this one. So you see, we could immediately see some animations on it. So how it's going to look like. In this case, let's go ahead and click on it. Now from here, what we need to do is we need to use the option for customize this template. Now, the great thing about templates here is you could still basically customize how your, uh, in this case, your image or your carousel would actually look like. So in this case, so for you to start co uh, customizing it, you could just click on the elements that you see here on your screen. So we have our per first page here. So for example, let's go ahead and click on it and basically add your text. So for example, I want to say this is my content and you could add your own uh, text here if you want to but again this is just an example that you could do here now also if you don't want to change a few like formatting here which is something the formatting here is quite cool because it's going to actually make it look like it's one fluid content and it's not just like images stuck together but in this case let's go ahead and start updating our images here so in this case i have some images here that i want to use here so let's just choose one of them so this is an example i'm going to use one of the images here now, the great thing about Canva here is if you want to replace the images that you see here, you just need to basically drag them in here. So as you can see right now, maybe I want to use this one and maybe I want to use this one and maybe I want to use this one, the third image. Now, since this is a continued type of content here, what we need to do is we need to scroll down a bit here and we want to use the content that you see here. So the key here, whenever you updating or doing your content here is be aware what is the perks with your design or the template that you're using. So again, if we use, uh, since this content or this image is a continuation of this image here, I'm going to use the image again so that whenever it actually scrolls to the right here, it's going to still use that image and make it like it's one fluid content. Now let's go ahead and update some of the images here. So let's just uh, use, we'll see what's, we'll be, what we haven't used before. Let's so maybe use this one. And you could also change this one. So in this case, maybe I want to use uh, maybe this image here. Let's go upload it here, Let's drag it in here. And we want to, again, re-upload. So since we want to leverage the content or the images that we use here, we want to go ahead and make sure that we are consistent. Now, maybe I want to change a few things here. Maybe I want to use this chicken here that I have for this image here. And I want to use the other one here. And let's go ahead and use this other image here. And maybe I want to use this one. Now, in this case, you could go ahead and start editing your text here. So I won't bother you with how you up actually update your images here. But also, if you're not aware yet, if you want to change the background color itself, you could go ahead and click 
on the actual ca uh, canvas that you have here and you can go and click on the top left here change your color if you want to and yeah so basically you could basically change the color itself but be aware that if you change the color for this one make sure to change the other backgrounds here if it actually are in, the, in this case if all the colors or initial colors here are actually matchy so again you could go ahead and update them but in this case we want to reverse that and want to use the exact uh, same thing here but once you've done that what we need to do next is we just need to start importing them so in this case i would recommend you to start using the actual app on your phone instead uh instead of just importing them in here so you could actually import them uh in here so in this case you can go and click on share here and just click on download but since we are using this in our carousel we want to do this on our mobile phone so let's go ahead and switch over to our mobile phone now we are now inside our canva app here now what we need to do is we need to go to recent designs here and you want to open up your recent design now, once you've accessed your design here, let's go and click on the tree dotted icon at the top right of your screen here. And what we need to do is we need to basically download the file itself. So in this case, we want to exit this window here. Let's just go back one window. And at the top right, you should be able to see a download button that you see next to the crown and the upload the button option there. Let's go and click on the download button here. And let's go ahead and click on the save as image here. So let's just wait for it to fully download. But in this case, let's just wait for it. Now, in this case, it should now say save to gallery. Now, in this case, what we need to do is we just need to exit our window here. And let's go ahead and visit our gallery here. Now, in this case, you should be able to see your gallery. As you can see, we have our photos here. In this case, we want to go ahead and exit this one. Now, what we need to do is we now need to go to our Facebook account here. So let's just open, uh, sorry, our Instagram account here. So in this case, let's just search for Instagram here and basically log in. Now, within the app itself, let's go ahead and click on the plus button that you see at the bottom center of your screen. And from here, you want to go ahead and click on post. Now, in here, what we need to do is we need to select our photos accordingly. So in this case, you want to click on the select multiple of photo option here and in this case let's go ahead and select our photos accordingly so first is we have this image here our second image our third image and our last image here in this case go and click on next here and from here you could go ahead and further customize it if you want but for now let's go and click on next here and from here let's just wait for it to load up but once it's actually loaded up you should be able to actually post this one so in this case go ahead and just click on the next button but in this case, what we need to do now is you want to go ahead and click on your customizations here, like adding your location, tag some people, add music if you want to, your audience, and add product details if you have those options. But in this case, you could go ahead and review them if you want. As you can see right now, this is how it's going to look like. But in this case, we are good. Let's go ahead and click on share here. And from here, let's go ahead and click on the share post here on trends if you want to. Let's go and click on that now. Let's go to our profile here at the bottom right here and just wait for it to load up but as you can see it's it is now posted now whenever you go to the right here it should give you the look as you can see it is quite seamless as you can see right now so in this case you go ahead and do this for all for all other posts here and from then on you should be good so if you found this video helpful hit the like and square button and watch our next video